South Korea President Moon Jae-in requested a call Sunday evening with President Trump and the two discussed North Korean aggression and a new round of international sanctions aimed at stopping it. The two leaders addressed North Korea's launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile on July 28 and affirmed that North Korea poses a grave and growing direct threat to the United States, South Korea, and Japan, as well as to most countries around the world, according to a readout from the White House. North Korea previously fired an ICBM on July 4 and an assessment of these launches of U.S. intelligence agencies and experts concerned that the Hermit nation will be capable of launching a missile, armed with a nuclear weapon, that could reach parts of the U.S. within the next year. The statement Sunday also said Trump and Moon welcomed the new international sanctions on North Korea unanimously passed, 15-0, by the Security Council on Saturday. The leaders committed to fully implement all relevant resolutions and to urge the international community to do so as well, the statement concluded. South Korea's description of the call was more pointed. Chong Hwa Day spokesman Park Soo Hyun said the two leaders agreed their countries must put maximum pressure and sanctions on North Korea under cooperation with the international community to have North Korea give up its nuclear and missile programs, and choose the right path. According to South Korea's Yonhap News Agency, in a tweet Sunday evening, after the phone call, Trump said he was very happy and impressed with the sanctions. Trump is currently away from the White House, staying at his golf resort in Bedminster, New Jersey. While there hasn't been much in the way of news coming from his direction this weekend, he did tweet on Saturday to applaud the United Nations' vote to impose new sanctions on North Korea in response to its ballistic missile program. China and Russia voted with us. Very big financial impact. He tweeted on Saturday. United Nations resolution is the single largest economic sanctions package ever on North Korea. Over $1 billion in cost to NK, he added in a follow-up tweet. The UN vote may have been unanimous, but that didn't stop China and Russia from condemning the US for not doing more to secure a diplomatic solution with North Korea. Both nations pressed the US to dial back military deployments to the region, which includes military exercises with South Korea and the deployment of a missile defense system that China fears could be used against their own weapons. Meanwhile, U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley heralded the sanctions vote as a gut punch to North Korea, adding we're prepared to do whatever it takes to defend ourselves and defend our allies. A meeting of foreign ministers in the Philippines broached the topic of U.S.-North Korea tensions on Sunday. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and his North Korean counterpart reportedly took pains to avoid each other at the Association of Southeast Asian Nations event, 